everyone! Welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. And today we're going to learn how to make Play Doh ice cream sandwiches. You can see we've got a delicious ice cream sandwich here. But let's see who's inside. It's Olaf! Why, hello everybody! <laughs> Oh, this ice cream is so nice and cold, just like snow. Let's have a play. Let's see what's inside this multicolored ice cream sandwich. It's Stuart the Minion. Ice cream. Let's see what's inside this ice cream sandwich. Oh no, it's the Phantom. Ooh. Why, hello there, little buddy. Who's this? Whoa! Whoa! Ah! I'm out of here! Yup a Ha ha ha! buddy! Phew! That was a close one! Yup a dee da! Say, buddy, do you want to go and play in the ice cream? I'm thinking maybe we could make a snowman just like me! Who I think it is? <laughs> All shall fear the phantom. Hey, that's not very nice to go around scaring people. Yeah, I mean, why don't you come play with us in the snow? Now it's time to learn how to make our Play-Doh ice cream sandwiches. Start off with your toy. Mold the toy inside the white Play-Doh and roll it flat. Use a knife to cut it into a square shape, but be careful when using a knife and get an adult to help you. Now roll out some brown Play-Doh and cut into the square shape, making a top and a bottom. Use a stick to poke holes into the brown Play-Doh. Take your next toy and roll several different colours into sausage shapes. Put them side by side and then roll them all together. This will create the multicoloured effect. Put your toy inside your multicoloured Play-Doh and then very carefully, using the knife, cut around into a square shape. Roll out the brown Play-Doh and cut around making the bottom and the top. Then once again, use your stick to poke the holes in the top. And there you have it. You've learned how to make Play-Doh ice cream sandwiches. Today we are going to be making some absolutely delicious looking Play-Doh donuts. Now they may look scrumptious but remember you can't eat them. For this you're going to need all different colours of Play-Doh. You're also going to need a Play-Doh rolling pin and a pencil. Remember as always you can use whatever different colours you like. The first thing we're going to do is to create a rainbow donut. But first we need to make the actual body. Make this out of yellow Play-Doh. Put a pencil in the middle so that we get the hole correct. This is the donut. Isn't it looking yummy already? 
Once you're happy with the shape of the donut, set it aside. And now it's time to make the rainbow topping. Roll a really long, thin bit of red. Then follow with orange. A bit more yellow. Then some green. Now some blue. And some purple. Finish off with pink. Now we want to take our rolling pin and roll them all together. This is going to create an awesome layer for the top of our donut. Place it on top and then wrap the edge around the donut. Yum! Now we need to poke the pencil down the middle so that we get the hole. And that's it! Now I'm going to make a different flavoured donut. I'm going to make one with sprinkles. I'm making the base out of light brown. And then I'm going to roll out some white Play-Doh flat. I'm going to use the pencil to make the edge squiggly. and then fold it up. See? It looks like the icing is dripping down the edge of the donut. Make sure you can see the hole. Now we're going to take the excess rainbow play-doh from before and make our sprinkles. Use a little bit of every colour and put tiny dots all over the top of our vanilla icing. Super cute! Looking good. Now I think I'll make a chocolate donut. Make the base out of light brown. And when you're happy, take some dark brown Play Doh and roll it flat. Just like we did with the white icing, we're going to place our donut on top. Trace around it. And then use the pencil to add detail. Again, we want to make sure it looks like it's dripping down the sides. Yum! Doesn't it look good? And finally, our last donut. I'm going to make bright pink icing for this. I'm going to use exactly the same technique as I have with every other donut. Make sure the icing is dripping down the sides. Smooth down the edges. And then place it on top. Delicious! Finally, I'm going to add some white sprinkles. I'm making these sprinkles a bit longer though. Cute, huh? Why not add some green as well? And there you have it, Play-Doh donuts. They're so good you can eat them. But don't forget, you can't! Today we are going to be making a really pretty Play-Doh flower. This is super quick and super easy. All you need is a knife, green Play-Doh, and some purple Play-Doh. Remember, you can make a flower any colour you like. Why don't you let us know in the comment box below? So the first thing I'm doing is making the petals out of purple Play-Doh. I've made a centre circle and now I'm attaching the petals all the way around the circle. Taper the edges to give it a bit of texture. Now I'm making the stalk out of green Play-Doh. Make a long spaghetti shape. 
Stick your flour on top. And now, make some leaves. Attach them to the side of your stalk, like so. And there you have it, it was that quick. Remember, you can use any different colour Play-Doh to make all sorts of different flowers. Thanks so much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone, bye!